everyone. This is ICU Talk. My name is Yelena. And today my guests are Baroness Michelle Moan and Doug Barrowman, co-founder and lead founder of Equi. Hello, Baroness Michelle. Hello, Doug. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Okay. Hi. So please, first of all, tell us about the project. What is it all about and what's the main idea behind it? Yeah, sure. Well, I've been involved in the venture capital industry for over 30 years. I've embraced blockchain technology in, in the last couple of years in particular. So what I wanted to do was combine um, venture capital investing with, um, with cryptocurrency. So we created the Equi token, which is a utility token, which is separate from our Equi investment platform. And the idea is that people buy the Equi tokens and they then use them to invest on our projects that we showcase on the platform. And therefore it gives the crypto community and the, um, the wider public an opportunity to participate in venture capital which traditionally is an area that really is the preserve of institutions and ultra high net worth. Mm -hmm. So we like to think of taking this to the uh, the masses, really, which is a nice thing to do. Yeah, and we only launched um, just just four days ago, and uh, well, five now. Mm. This is a day, um, and you can go into equi.capital to find out more, all our videos, etc. And we're doing our pre-sale. Uh, period at the moment so it's a minimum investment of a hundred thousand dollars and you will get 25 percent uh free bonus. and bonus yeah oh, token okay, okay. We'll, we'll speak a little bit uh more about the ico a bit later uh, first of all i would like just in more details about the project itself um if you allow me so uh will you please tell us um, about the key challenges on the market that uh are to be resolved with um with equity yeah, I mean, we've got a very good investment team. You'll see from the white paper on Equi.Capital, you know, experienced people, Michelle and myself, with strong track records in, in buying and, and creating business opportunities over many years. You'll see from the rest of the team, you know, Duncan McInnes, uh, early investor in Deliveroo and Facebook, or Mark Vent Mark Pearson from Fuel Ventures, um, who sold out myvoucher.co. So you look at the track records of the whole team. It's excellent. So essentially, um, the team's there, the investment opportunities are there. There's about five propositions that we're actively following at the moment, uh, from big data to blockchain space itself to e-gaming is another, another investment opportunity we're looking at. Mm -hmm. um, so there's nothing to stop the, uh, the, um, the, the venture being a success. The, the technology is uh, it's an ERC-20 token built on the Ethereum um, blockchain. Um, our in-house developers got all the technology side of it working really well. Um, mm -hmm. The ICO so far in the pre-sale has been extremely well supported. I think in day four, I think we're up to about $7 million in counting. Um, so there's no problems really from a, a point of view of actually physically doing this. Um, people had got confused about it being a security token. It's not. It's a utility token, the actual token itself. Um, it is only a passport to um, subsequently use on an investment platform. Okay. People can choose to invest in the project or they can choose to, to trade it as a cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. And are there any uh, similar projects on, on the market? At least, who do you consider to be your uh, competitors on this market, if there are any? And if there are any, what are your uh, main differences uh, and advantages over them? I mean, there's a few people uh, had a go at doing this. I'm not going to publicise uh, an ICO that's going going on at the moment where it's kind of similar to what we're doing. But, you know, I think the difference is that we're a well-known team of individuals. Um, we're actually uh, mainstream, I suppose, investors playing in, in, in crypto world, uh, blockchain world. Um, and therefore, our advantage is the track record of the team um, and the um, the backing behind it really is very significant with equity. Yeah, think, absolutely. Um, you know, I, th I think we're different from a lot of ICOs where some of them, you know, are unknown names uh, that come into this world, whereas every single one of us are extremely successful. And, um, you know, all of our board of advisors as well. So I think that's not what makes us different is mm -hmm. that what you see is what you get. And we're not going anywhere and every, everything that we do, we're all, we always succeed in. Um, so we are big names when it comes to business um, in the UK. Um, and um, that's the exciting part of it. And the other exciting part is that um, I did a government review for uh, the UK government, uh, the ex-Prime Minister. I was the business startup czar for 2015. 
we did a, a government re review on startups. And I think that it's really nice now that we are going to help and mentor uh, tomorrow's superstars and find them. And, you know, we might find the next Snapchat, for example. Um, so when it comes to the token, you can either trade it as a, just like every other cryptocurrency, or you can decide what businesses you want to come in and invest with us. So the two are very separate. And that's the exciting thing as well. Okay. I think one of the things we want to do um, as well as us selecting investments to show showcase, we want to involve the platform so that um, on investment opportunities we can allow crypto community to actually vote on whether they like the projects or not. And I think that's participative, it's all inclusive, and again, that's a, a fairly uh, a new approach to how we do venture capital investing. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's now proceed to the ICO. Uh, first of all, tell us about uh, your main goals in terms of the soft cap and the hard cap. Yeah, okay. sure, sure. I mean, there's 250 million um, tokens um, in circulation, or will be in circulation, of which 65% of that token supply is um, taking place on the ICO, which equates to about 162 million tokens. So at 50 cents a token, the maximum hard cap we could raise is 82 million. Mm -hmm. um, already on the uh, the pre-sale thus far on I think we're starting off on day five now we've, we've sold seven million um, dollars worth of token uh, and there's a, a number of very significant pledges coming through this week which we hope to uh, go firm on so we know already that the ICO uh, has been successful <laughs> just where we're at at the moment but the exciting bit is come the middle of the month um, with the thousands of followers we've got on Telegram and various other social media outlets mm. is to have more all-inclusive with wider participation from the crypto community. So we've got a nice uh, spread of investors, small, little, large, whatever it may be, um, to participate in the Equi project, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, will you please tell us more about the roadmap of the project? What will be the key milestones of uh, development, actually? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, we've got a white paper and you can review our white paper on equi.capital. Um, but first of all, we're getting the advisory board together. Then we'll build the platform. Then we've got our eye, our eye on five businesses at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, invest in those businesses. And then we've got other ideas, which is a, a kind of involving the crypto community to have a vote. It's like a Dragon's Den show um, online where they get to pick the businesses that they like as well. So that makes it really exciting because we're involving the crypto community with us as well. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, will you please tell us more about the tokens? Uh, what will be the key benefits actually for the investors and for the token yeah, holders? Sure. sure. Well, basically, you can you buy a token, which in itself is, is just a, a cryptocurrency. It's a passport to then, if they choose to put them onto our platform, uh, on our platform, they can either hold the tokens uninvested, i.e. not in a project, but ready for investment, or they can invest um, in a project. You invest in a project, 75% of the profits we make in any investment venture are returned to the token holders, so the bulk of the return goes back to them, which is very important. Mm -hmm. At the end of every year, the token supply increases by 5%, and that will go back as a rewards mechanism to people that are hold, hold their tokens uninvested on our platform, and invested on each of our projects that they choose to invest in, yeah? Mm -hmm. So essentially, this is all about the token holders benefiting um, from the upside, uh, principally benefiting from the upside. Um, alternatively, people may choose not to, to, to use the tokens on our investment platform, but just trade them like any conventional cryptocurrency. But we'd like to think that people could look at the investment portfolio we have and say, do you know what, there's real substance to what's underpinning the equity token here and therefore the value of the token we would hope would appreciate off the back of the caliber of investments that we have so it gives you some form of correlation albeit i would stress the token itself is separate from the platform mm -hmm. and it's a utility token not a security token mm -hmm. okay okay and what do you personally think about the future of the ico market in the world in general <laughs> Uh, well, I, I think I'm super excited, as Doug is, about the ICO world and um, the whole crypto community world, blockchain technology, we believe will take over our lives. And um, it's really exciting to be involved in it. It's such an early stage. 
I mean, let me, I think out of the 1,500 or so ICOs that have been done, I think it's fair to say a large, a large part of them will fall away because you've got to say, what is the real utility of, um, of the coin or the token and what you've done? Uh, and what purpose does it fulfill in the real modern world that we live in? I think the ICO market's becoming more sophisticated. People have got over the initial uh, excitement of the ICO process, and they're now looking at the real utility value of the tokens, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I think the ICO is here to stay. It will become more regulated. It's inevitable that governments will want to apply more conventional um, approach to regulation on financial service type stuff. Um, Last year, for example, we were heavily involved in, in Casino Coin, where we, we didn't go down the ICO route, we went down the foundation route, where our foundation is based in, um, is based in Malta. Uh -huh. um, so Casino Coin, I'm sure, in itself will be a great success. It didn't, we didn't go down the ICO route on that particular one. Um, so it's here to stay, the ICO. I think... Um, the success of future ICOs will depend on the professionalism that people put into their white papers, the credibility of the teams that are assembled. And I think the days are gone where you can just wake up one day in your bedroom and um, write a white paper and expect the crypto community to back it blindly. Okay. Okay. And just to sum it up, our usual question, uh, in very, very brief, in one or two sentences, why should I contribute to Equi? Well, you should come on board with us because we are very successful business people and our board of advisors as well. Um, everything that we do is a success. Um, we are well known. Uh, the trust is there as well. And um, we will be finding tomorrow's superstars in business. Yeah. Um, so this is not a fly by night. This is not a con. This is equity. Uh, dot capital is here to stay. <laughs> okay, Doug, if you want to, to add something? Yeah, I think people on this one can actually see um, what, why they're, they're buying the token, they're investing in real companies, real world assets with real upside, and most of that upside going back to the people who are investing and putting their faith in it. And therefore, we hope that the token itself will um, rise in, in value off the sentiment of the investments that we're backing. It's totally transparent because you can see what we're backing on the investment platform that we're creating. Therefore, get on board and make some money with us. And we wanted to say that today is just day five, and uh, we've already raised, you know, seven million dollars as well. So right. it's already a big, huge success. There's some strong pledges coming through this week as well. And today we've got a lot that are um, pending as well. Okay, that's absolutely great. Thank you so much for this interview and for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Good to talk, Thank Elena. You. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, and I remind you that today my guests were uh, Baroness Michelle Moan and Doug Barrowman, co-founder and lead founder of Equi. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch more interesting interviews. Bye-bye.